Hey guys, so this is going to be a video about my experience with cosmetology school. Um, I had actually already recorded a video at the end of my first semester of cosmetology school, which was in December. And I decided not to upload it because I figured I didn't, I didn't think anybody actually cared. Um, but somebody actually requested that I do a video on my experience with cosmetology school. So I'm going to try to sum up my first semester really quick. Um, actually, you know what, I'm going to go ahead and just upload the first video and then I'll upload this one after. So um, it's the end of May and I just finished my second semester in cosmetology school. You'll see from the first video um, what it was like. This semester is a little different. Um, we work on clients this semester. Last semester was a classroom setting and we do some theory in the morning. I learned this semester that either cosmetology school in general or just my school um, is not at all what I expected it would be. Like I'm not getting out of cosmetology school what I thought I would get. So um, I don't want to be too negative about it. I think a lot of it just has to do with my particular program that I'm a part of. Um, I'll start with the fact that at the beginning of the semester I was voted in as the Cosmetology Club President. So I'm still serving as a Cosmetology Club President. Um, and I've also entered in a couple of competitions. Now there were, I want to say two competitions that I wanted to enter in. Actually three. Four. <laughs> wow, four. Four competitions that I wanted to enter but I could not because my school would not allow me to take the time off to go to the show and participate in the competition. They were going to dock me emergency hours, which would have set me over my emergency hours and I would have eventually possibly been kicked out of the program. So um, in that sense, I felt like I was being held back because those are things that I wanted to do to further my career, to get my name out there. and. I'm competitive by nature. I wanted to compete and I feel like it also would have brought in good publicity to the school but they wouldn't allow that to go down. So that was four competitions that I could not participate in. Um, one competition I participated in was the Spectrum International Beauty Expo. I got to participate in that one because we went to the show as a field trip and they didn't dock us on our hours. Um, that one was a hard pill for me to swallow because of how it happened but I won second place um, and I did that on a live model. I'll attach some pictures. And um, the other competition I entered was a big national competition, Junior Style Stars. Uh, that competition broke my heart. I didn't win. Um, I expected to place in the top 10 and I didn't. I placed in the top 20 and from that competition I also learned a lot. A lot about competitions in general. Out of those two that I participated in, I learned a lot about competitions in general. So I have to look at them in a whole different perspective now. Um, I also participated in a couple of competitions at my school. I won second place in the cut color and style competition because I did my entry on a mannequin. So I'll attach pictures of that. And I won first place in long hair updo on a mannequin and I'll attach pictures of that. So those are the competitions I've done so far. Um, I still have uh, about 350 hours left. So I should be done with my program around August or September of this year. Um, I got to work on a lot of different things. Um, I got to resolve a lot of different issues. In cosmetology school, a lot of people come in wanting to fix really bad problems with their hair because it's inexpensive. So um, I feel like I always got the most complicated clients, which is a good thing because I got to resolve the most complicated issues or work on some really challenging styles or cuts or color jobs. And they all turned out really, really well. So, um, yeah, there are a lot of things that I wish we would have worked on that we didn't work on. Um, uh, hopefully we'll get to practice more for 
the practical part of state board. We haven't done a lot of that. Um, we've done a lot of, gosh, what have we done a lot of? A lot of perming, <laughs> a lot of nails, and a lot of skin care, as aesthetics. Uh, we've done a lot of that stuff. Uh, when I go back in the summer, I think it'll be a little bit different. We're going to have different teachers in the summertime. Um, and I've already finished all of my technical hours and all of my operations, which means when I go back for the summer semester, um, I won't have anything in particular to work on. So I would love for as many people as possible to come and see me um, as a client to have services done because I don't have anything in particular I have to work on anymore. All I have to work on doing is completing my 1600 hours. So yeah, if you guys want uh, facials, you want your nails done, you want your hair cut, colored, styled, straightened, I even do relaxers, even though I don't recommend them, I do them. <laughs> um, if you need a service done, feel free to email me or leave me a message here on YouTube and I'll go ahead and get you scheduled for an appointment and I'll give you all of the details. Um, once I finish the program, I'm planning on doing a barber crossover program. And um, I'm also doing eyelash extensions. I took a class for eyelash extensions and I've gotten certified. And so I'm doing eyelash extensions as well. And if you'd like to schedule before an appointment for eyelash extensions, then check the link in the description bar. I uh, have a style seat page where you can go on and schedule an appointment. Um, I'm also doing weaves, hair extensions. Uh, you can schedule that appointment on style seat as well. Check the prices. And I'm also still doing my bossy wigs. Um, I style. I can also style your wigs for you or your extensions at the school. So you can have that done at a discounted price. And I can also help you maintain your natural hair at school. Um, back on topic. Once I do the barber crossover program, I'm planning on entering in some more competitions then. I'll be at a different school. For the barber crossover program so hopefully things will turn out better for me because um the competitions that i worked on at this school i didn't get any help and especially with junior style stars we're supposed to have a coach a teacher who helps you through the whole process and i had no help whatsoever so um at this new school they actually have a teacher who does competitions and he's going to be able to help me through it so that i know how to I don't know, make my entry meet the real requirements of the competitions. Like I said, I learned a lot about competitions. And yeah, that's about it. Um, hopefully the summer goes better than this past semester did. I had a really bad experience at school this past semester. It was um, some people trying to drag me down. I don't know why, but they tried. And of course they failed, you can't drag me down. Um, but enough being negative. When I think of the positive, I will have my license very soon and then I will have my barber license soon after that. And once I get both of those licenses done, I'm going to be doing a teacher training program because my plan is to teach. I teach cosmetology so that hopefully I can be as good of a teacher as a couple of my teachers that I have right now and help guide future cosmetology students down the right path for their careers. So. Um, if you guys have any specific questions for me, please feel free to comment or email me, leave me a message or a comment on Facebook, anywhere. It doesn't really matter. And I'll get back to you. Um, and I'll do another video later if you guys want to see it. Um, yeah, and that's it. So I guess I will talk to you guys later.